Hello tech lovers, today's video is on Sony WFC 500 wireless earbuds. Through extensive research and based on quality, we've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So, whether it's features, performance of its particular side, or necessary topics, we've got you covered with more information on this earbuds. We have also included the links in the description box down below. You can like the video, show your creativity in the comment section, and subscribe for more tech-related videos. We upload multiple videos in a week. Now, let's get started. The Sony WF-500 are budget-friendly headphones that have a neutral sound quality. The left and right ear buds seem a little dissimilar, and there's more bass in the right ear. The sound can be customized by using a graphic emotional intelligence as well as presets available in their companion app. It allows you to create 360 reality audio, a surround sound option, but you'll need to purchase an online streaming service that is compatible to use it. The Sony WFC 500 is compact and light, aimed at mobile users of these earbuds. The earbuds are made mainly out of plastic, but they are 4 IMAX rated for splash and sweat resistance, making these shoes ideal for training and commutes. Sony has three different tier tips. In order to achieve best comfy and snug fitting, I have to choose the biggest ear tips for the left side of my ear and that middle-sized size on my right. The tips for the ear achieve a perfect balance between being flexible enough to form into the ear and being stiff enough to hold the earbuds in position. The rounded side of each butt is tucked within the cartilage of the ear. This holds them in place, providing you with a target to target when using the touch controls. The Sony WFC 500 comes with tap controls that are assigned to each earbud. The right earbud controls media playback while the left bud controls the volume. The call control comes in on the right every time a phone calls come in. The round surfaces are sized for fingers to focus on in every housing. The Sony WFC 500 utilizes an app called the Sony Headphones Connect Tap iOS and Android to alter settings and download software updates. It's a great idea to download it. It also comes with custom tie-in options like an ear scanning feature and 360 reality audio. More on the latter in the future. The ear scanning feature requires you to take photos of your ear. After that, the application adjusts the sound of the ear to fit your ears. I can't tell the distinction between this and the other feature, but there's another badges system that gives you stickers when you reach certain levels of usage. However, it's more like a game. The Sony WFC 500 runs Bluetooth 5.0 and supports both the augmentative and alternative communication as well as smart bitch rate control Bluetooth codes. It gives users within the Apple ecosystem the security of a high-quality, reliable codec augmentative and alternative communication. However, Android users aren't so fortunate since the augmentative and alternative communication codec is not reliable for all Android hardware. The app will inform you which codec your earbuds are currently using. To overcome some of the shortcomings of these codes, the app provides priority on sound quality and priority on stable connection modes, but not a mode to reduce the loss of latency. The Sony WFC 500 doesn't include activated noise cancellation as such, so in order to block out the most noise you must find the right fitting. The earbuds do a better job of blocking high frequencies as opposed to lows, which means that noises from engines, traffic, and other noises will not be completely blocked. However, they offer more effective and isolation quality than what you can get from other earbuds that aren't activated noise cancellation and has low and mid-range frequencies silenced up to one quarter of the volume they'd normally be. The Sony WFC 500 is part of an established brand that is famous for its high-quality sound, like the one created with Sony's Sony WF-1000 XM5 along with the Sony WF-1000 XM. The WFC 500's frequency response closely corresponds to the home curve, which is what most users enjoy. Similar to most in-ears, mids tend to be a bit underemphasized in comparison to the highs and bass. However, if you're enjoying your music while walking around or working out, you'll surely appreciate what you hear. The Sony WFC 500 comes with an omnidirectional microphone on every earbud, as well as call support. If a phone call is received, the right earbud will automatically respond by tapping it once. If you are in the phone, tapping again will let you hang up. You aren't able to place an order directly using your earbuds. However, you can request your voice assistant to make the call. The calls are clear, and you are able to leave clear messages under the ideal circumstances. 
if you make a phone call in a workplace setting. However, the microphones can transmit keyboard noises as well as some other noises from the background. The standard headphones battery testing employs music played in continuous loop with the 75 decibel max output measured by the eardrum of the test head. The Sony WFC 500 ran for 9 hours and 46 minutes and was only 40 minutes short of the official battery life of 10 hours from Sony here. When the headphones are below 50% battery, you'll be notified before a second warning before the battery is depleted. If you are listening in mono mode, you'll be able to hear the same warnings for only one of the earphones. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of this device. Pros, stylish, comfy design, 10 hours playback, good separation of instruments. Cons, the bare minimum of features. It can be difficult to hear if the sound is too bright. Transparency is not available or activated noise cancellation modes. The first and most important thing is that they are excellent value in terms of price. They have a clear sound and these headphones describe the sound stage convincingly. We found them to be incredibly comfortable, with a comfy design along with water resistance. Of of course, Sony had to cut corners to bring the cost lower. It's not possible to find any noise cancellation, but the battery lasts for a decent time, however the bass could get more powerful. If you like the video and find it helpful, you can always give a like on this video. Smash that subscribe button for more tech-related informative videos. The links to all products we have talked about are in the description box down below. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, have fun and keep up the good work.